This is Movies First with Alex First. Locusts were one of the ten plagues of Egypt, and so it is in Jurassic World Dominion. Gigantic-sized grasshoppers threaten the world's food supply. They've been created thanks to a genetics laboratory, Biosyn, that's been granted control over the dinosaurs. These prehistoric creatures are now freely roaming the world. Meanwhile, a black market in dinosaurs is thriving. Biosyn head Lewis Dodson, Campbell Scott, has a rule to plough ahead with his operations regardless of what mistakes have been made. That puts him at odds with those looking for peaceful coexistence with the dinosaurs, if that's even possible. The movie is built upon the architecture of 1993's Jurassic Park and 2015's Jurassic World. Part of that involves the emergence of Macy Lockwood, Isabella Sermon, the daughter of highly regarded scientist Charlotte Lockwood. Macy is being raised by activist Claire Deering, Bryce Dallas Howard, and dinosaur whisperer Owen Grady, Chris Pratt. They are a family, but the 14-year-old is rebellious and eager to explore her roots. Macy is a hot property under threat because of her unique DNA. Meanwhile, paleobotanist and author Dr Ellie Sattler, Laura Dern, has seen the magnitude of the locust problem firsthand. She enlists the aid of her former colleague, paleontologist Dr Alan Grant, Sam Neill, who's hardly being challenged these days. Sattler also happens to have separated from her husband, and her two children have grown up. Grant is more than a little interested, as she is in him. Gifted an invitation to visit Biosyn, The good doctors are highly suspicious as to just what's going on there. In their corner is highly cynical mathematician Dr Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum, who feigns a lack of interest. Within the company too, there are concerns that Lewis Dodson has lost the plot. Movies First with Alex First. Colin Trevorrow is back in the director's chair. He's also co-writer with Emily Carmichael and has kicked the franchise up a gear. There's action, special effects and sound effects are plenty in Jurassic World Dominion. The pace is fast and furious. I, like so many, can't get enough of the dinosaurs and I wasn't disappointed. Apart from the reappearance of Velociraptor Blue and her offspring Beta, the ultimate apex predator in the T-Rex is back. We also get to see a Gigantosaurus, which is the largest known terrestrial carnivore. Mind you, I've barely brushed the surface. Suffice to say, there are dinosaurs in significant numbers, on the ground and in the air. Familiarity with the earlier Jurassic instalments will help, but you can still readily follow the threads if you're not au fait with what went down before. Several story arcs come together as the locust threat and the safety of the teenager predominate. I appreciated the reappearance of characters of old in Sattler and Grant. The former is asked to do more and is wedded to the cause of tracking down how the giant bugs came to be and how to counteract their devastating impact. A frantic opening re-establishes Claire Deering's credentials. Bryce Dallas Howard brings passion, purpose and warmth to the role. Chris Pratt as Owen Grady is the epitome of Joe Cool in his ability to handle, well, almost any situation. Jeff Goldblum's deadpan delivery is there again for all to see and savour, although he's probably given a few too many lines. What I'm suggesting is that less would have been more. I like the attitude and bravado displayed by DeWanda Wise as daredevil pilot and mercenary Kayla Watts. Even though there's a lot going on, at nearly two and a half hours, Jurassic World Dominion is a bit of a stretch. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World were closer to two hours, and that would have been enough here too. Still, there's plenty to like about this offering, which is big and bold and loud. In other words, Dominion has been given the Hollywood blockbuster treatment. So see it on the biggest screen with the best sound system you can. It scores a seven and a half 
out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.